<laughs> looks like it'll be another great morning for a run not too hot. That humidity is definitely down. Oh so it looks pretty picture on your Twitter. Yeah, and I actually tweeted out some stats from yesterday morning. 76 yeah. degrees. We had a north wind yesterday. No heat index. None. Zero. It was cloudy. I'll tell wow. you what, the, that Live Doppler 13 weather app was awesome because I checked it before I went out, and then it's, you know, just kind of reaffirming. I'm going to go outside, and all right, the wind is 13 miles per hour, I feel, mm -hmm. but it tells me exactly what it was. So it was a great start yesterday morning. We will see more sunshine this morning. Okay, than we did yesterday. Yeah, it was a little cloudy to get the day started, but today... That sun's going to be out in full force. That is already up through central Indiana, thanks to this large area of high pressure that is situated just to our north. High pressure works in our favor if you like the sunshine because it signifies sinking air. It prevents clouds from developing, and it prevents those pop-up type storms for today. What we also have around the center of high pressure is the winds rotating counterclockwise, or I should say clockwise. So that's going to bring in uh, some of that cooler air from the north into central Indiana, and that's why the temperature today is going to stay down. Really going to be nice out there for us. Starting off, some of us in the 50s, the rest of us are in the 60s this morning, and we all rebound somewhat quickly back through the 60s to 72 degrees already by 11 a.m. Lunchtime today, a very pleasant 75, and then we're into the lower 80s for a high temperature today, staying about 3 degrees below average. Normally, we'll be around 85 for this time of year. 82 is your forecast high, and we'll see that number between about 4 and 5 p.m. With that being said, and if you were outside yesterday, you know what I'm talking about. There's still a big difference what bring, being in the shade and then being in the sun. Those temperatures that we give you are measured in the shade, so we get an accurate measurement. You step outside into the sunlight, and you can easily tack on about 15 degrees. That's how much hotter it's going to feel in the direct sun. And for today, we do still have a very high UV index because of that clear sky. Very high, in fact. Uh, as we see that lasting through about 4 p.m., the sun rays are going to be at their strongest. That means burn time today. If you have uh, fair skin around 15 minutes up to 25 minutes, it's still a day where we're going to need to remember to use that sunscreen, at least an SPF 30 every two hours if you're going to be outside more frequently, if you're going to be in the water, out by the pool and things like that. And also you can wear some of those lighter colors if you want to reflect some of that sun sunlight to um, keep yourself a little bit cooler as well. So sun's still going to be bright through the afternoon. But then we get into the evening tonight. Symphony on the Prairie is going to be going on. It's actually Beethoven's Seventh Symphony this evening. So a great show going to be going on tonight. It begins at 8 p.m. as the sun is slowly starting to set through the 8 and 9 o'clock hour. But look at these temperatures falling back through the 70s. A very pleasant evening tonight. 10 p.m. We're down to 72 and 71 degrees by 11 p.m. Through the overnight, it gets even cooler. Some of us even seeing the upper 50s as we get tomorrow started. Typically see that overnight low between about 6 and 7 a.m. By 8 o'clock in the morning, still very comfortable and cool for your Sunday morning. Worship service is 64 degrees, 73 by 10 a.m. And then by lunchtime tomorrow, we're going to be a little warmer, back up near 80 with a mostly sunny sky. And it does get warmer tomorrow as the wind shifts uh, more so from the southeast as compared to the east today. That will pump in some slightly warmer air. We're back up to around 87 for forecast high in Indianapolis. Now there is a chance of a little rain as we get into our Monday into Tuesday. More so a late in the day rain event. Here's 4.30 in the afternoon on Monday. Notice it does get a lot hotter. Most of us in the upper 80s, lower 90s to get next week started. But then a boundary is going to sink through on a Tuesday afternoon. So we get back near 90 Tuesday. We'll have that chance of rain and maybe a scattered thunderstorm late in the day. And then some cooler air will start to to build back in a little cooler by next Wednesday. 82 today, 87 tomorrow. We're back up to 90 for your Monday. 89 with those late day showers and storms Tuesday. But we are right back into the sunshine. Alyssa, 87 Wednesday. And then it heats right back up looking at the return of the 90s for the end of next week.